sun is uh, not quite up yet. I've been on the beach about 45 minutes. I uh, haven't really picked up much. Um, and I've just had a very, very weak signal below me. And it's uh, a gold cross with some sort of uh, inlaid pattern. Uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time looking around here, see if I can find the chain. But uh, what a result so far! OK, I've got a nice sanding target down here. Let's see if I can find that. Oops. A little one. Oh, that's uh, 10 cents. Well, I've got a real belter of a signal just here. And it's quite distorted, which uh, either normally means foil or occasionally a stainless steel ring. So let's see what it is. It's a stainless steel ring. There we go. Actually, it looks silver. More than a stainless steel, but uh, it's a big ring. Well, I've got another uh, very high pitched, sharp target sound just here. I don't know why, but the uh, 10 cent coins seem to come like that quite often. They can be. Uh, seem to be overly loud compared to uh, some of the other coins. Huh. Guess what? It's a stainless steel ring. Well, that fooled me completely. I've got uh, a nice blasting signal below me. Let's see what uh, delights this brings. The sea's getting a little choppy. And it's another 10 cents. Well, I haven't found too much for a while, but uh, every now and again, I come across the odd coin, uh, a bit of rubbish. There's a huge, huge thunderstorm just to my left, which uh, is trekking in front of me. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to change or not, but you can see the rain battering down onto the sea. So hopefully, I'll miss it. And this looks like another, t another 10 cents. 20 cents. There we go. So uh, changed track and is. Uh, heading directly for this beach. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be in the water much longer because uh, there's loads of lightning in the, uh, the heavy clouds there and uh, I think it's going to get very wet above the water line uh, very soon. Well, from uh, this morning's adventure, first off was the uh, hair tie back, a bit of bling, uh, a few coins, uh, not a huge amount uh, considering. Uh, then on to the rings. Uh, I found this late on. Uh, I'm not sure if it's silver or what. It's got quite a heavy layer of crustacean on it, which I need to uh, scrape off. And there, I think there may be some writing there. Then um, the uh, stainless ring, which before I dug it, uh, I thought, well, that's a stainless ring. Then when it came up, oh, I thought that's silver because of the uh, the uh, tarnish uh, on it. But in fact, it is uh, it is stainless uh, with a brushed um, paint coat of some sort. Another stainless ring which uh, I found and uh, didn't have the camera going at the time. I was in quite deep water, so uh, didn't quite uh, manage to uh, capture that. Uh, then. A uh, silver ring, which I thought, <laughs> ironically, I thought was uh, stainless, 
um, but uh, looking at it, it says 925 on the inside, so that's silver. Then I come to the gold pendant. Well, this is uh, an interesting one. Um, I think the insides are uh, silver, and I think the um, the gold is actually um, just a, a plating that uh, uh, it's got actually it actually does a stamp a stamp in there with uh, 925, so that's silver. Uh, so I guess all that silver, and I think this. Uh, is uh, just uh, a plated, either plated silver or um, plated something or other. So anyway, it was a good morning. Uh, shame the storm came along when it did, because uh, uh, just after I got uh, out of the water, the uh, heavens opened and uh, uh, it got very, very wet. So um, got out of the water just in time. So I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.